Hello viewers, I'm back again, Mr. Nyati here with another video which is basically a continuation of the previous video. Remember the previous video, it was cut due to insufficient light. And uh, today let me do a continuation of that video. So we had actually started answering the question from the previous video. If you, the video, you don't know about the video, I'll put it in the, uh, on the link. I'll put a link uh, in the description below. Okay, so we get started. May I also say that subscribe to, you, uh, to my YouTube channel and also hit the like button, the share button, and uh, the bell button so that each time I post a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified. And also leave a comment in the comment section so that I can know how uh, appreciative you are and how also this information is helping you. So the question was, uh, from the reaction scheme above, name processes K, L, and M. So uh, we discovered that, first of all, process K, we discovered that uh, process K was, uh, or let me say that process K is, um, hydration of ethene and then we have ethanol to produce uh, P. P is ethanoic acid and the process why are we saying P is ethanoic acid because we have ethyl ethanoid so at some point we need to have a product of ethanoic acid so that when we react ethanoic acid plus ethanol we get ethyl ethanoid plus water and so P is ethanoic acid <clears throat> and for us to produce ethanoic acid we need to do a process called oxidation of ethanol for us to produce ethanoic acid and then producing ethyl ethanoid we need to react ethanol and ethanoic acid through a process called esterification so to answer the question we are going to say uh, that is uh, C, uh, C3 Question A, process, uh, being uh, <coughs> hydration, hydration, process L, uh, uh, being uh, oxidation, no, 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 not oxidation, of course, uh, process, uh, Process uh, L, which is the conversion of uh, ethanol to ethanoic acid, is oxidation. Yes, it is oxidation. And then uh, the process uh, M is esterification. Esterification. All right, so let's move forward. Construct the chemical equation describing process K. Include the state symbol. So for B, we need to describe process K. And the process K, the hydration of ethene, would be this ethene, this one, Kasha state, plus, uh, plus uh, water in gaseous state, Okay, this is going to give us ethanol, eth, ethanol, H5OH. So this is basically the process that is taking place. Now this one is a uh, liquid, okay, and uh, is our equation balanced? We have C, carbon 2, carbon 2. Hydrogen uh, 4 plus 2, 5, 5, oxygen 1, oxygen 1. So the equation is balanced. Okay. We move on to the next question, which says uh, uh, state both the chemical name and common name of P. So remember P, we said that this is ethanoic acid. Well, the common name, uh, the chemical name of uh, P is... Uh, ethanoic acid okay and the chemical name I mean the common name is acetic acid okay acetic acid the, co the chemical name is ethanoic 
ethanoic acid. So this is the answer. Move on to the next question. Uh, question D says, state the general formula of the series where P belongs. And what is P? P is basically uh, eth ethanoic acid. So for D, the chemical, the general formula for P or ethanoic acid is CN H two N plus one C O O H. Remember, this is a carboxyl group or uh, a functional group, which basically describes the chemical characteristics of uh, all alcohols. I mean, all carboxylic acids or organic acids. Give two uses of uh, of ethyl ethanoate. So ethyl ethanoate is an ester. One of the uses is basically to 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 make perfumes because of the sweet smelling or sweet smells that it has. It has a fragrance, which actually makes it favorable to fit in the function of uh, 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 making uh, 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 perfumes. So one in the manufacture of perfumes the manufacture of perfumes the other function is uh, it is used to basically uh, to to in the manufacture of paint okay in the manufacture of paint if you've had an experience where some paints have that sweet smelling flavor it's because of uh, the the esters which are also added and also the other thing is that it is used as a solvent okay an ester is also used as a solvent among other uses now i must also mention the fact that this process where you produce ethyl ethanoid okay ethyl ethanoid where you have ethanol okay ethanol uh, let me write that again Ethanol being CH three C. This is ethanoic acid plus ethanol, which is an alcohol. Uh, would react. Remember, reversible reaction takes place, and this is one of the things you should know. This is an alcohol. This is an acid. This reaction is similar to neutralization reaction, except one of the reactants in neutralization is a base. The other one is an acid, of course. But here we have an alcohol. And then the, here it's reversible. While well, for neutralization, it's not reversible. So you are going to have a few ethanoid, which is CH3C. C O O C two H five plus H two O. Okay, so this is what you ought to know. This is what happens. I thought I should explain this. So in its structural appearance, this is how it looks like. Okay, you have three carb uh, hydrogen atoms bonded to one carbon atom, and then you have this carbon with an oxygen and then you have an O and an H. This reacts with the, this bonded also to three uh, uh, hydrogen atom is a carbon and this carbon also bonded to two hydrogen atom and a hydroxyl. Okay. Uh, so this is what happens in actual sense. So this, the OH from the alcohol combines with the hydrogen from the carboxyl or the, I mean the carboxylic acid. So the hydrogen from the carboxylic acid combines with the uh, hydroxyl from the alcohol to form water. So in actual sense, this is how it would appear for the purpose of uh, understanding. So this is how this would appear. It would appear like this. 
Now we are saying that the OH from the alcohol, this breaks off and it combines with the hydrogen, okay, hydrogen ion from the uh, carboxylic acid. These two, okay, from the main components, which is an acid and an alcohol, they will form water, a water molecule in the process, okay? And what we are going to have is this. What we are going to have basically is, uh, a, is, uh, is uh, this. This is carbon, pardon me. And this is hydrogen, hydrogen. Another one here with uh, with uh, uh, with O here, and then this one. Remember, we still have an uh, a, 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 an O here, and then uh, a, a hydroxide. So I mean an oxide, so to speak. Then what will come here is a bond linking. Remember, this is no longer there. So a bond will link direct to a carbon. Okay, and then we have another carbon, of course, a hydrogen here, hydrogens here, another hydrogen here, another hydrogen there. And so when you look at the way the chemical equation is written, we have C and the three hydrogens, which is the C and the three hydrogens. Then you have a C, a C here, with the, these two uh, oxygen atoms here, or ions, here, and then you have part of the alcohol being here. Remember, there was an OH which was there, but it has been eliminated in the process. So now, this part here, this one, it's important to understand that this one is referred to as ester linkage. Ester linkage. This is called an ester linkage. I thought I should mention that while we are talking about this. And remember also that we said that the naming of esters, okay? Naming of esters follows this order. Number one, you start with, start with alcohol, okay? Then what are you going to do? You start with an alcohol. You start with an alcohol, then you go to the, then carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid. This is the order uh, which is followed when naming esters. So the alcohol basically will have, for example, if you have ethanol as your alcohol, it changes to ethyl, okay? Then the carboxylic acid, if it is ethanoic or let's say propanoic acid, Propanoic acid will not hold this name, but it will hold the propanoate. Propa, propanoate. So, the name of the ester, which is produced as a result of reacting ethanol and the propanoic acid, will be ethyl propanoate. Ethyl coming from the alcohol and the propanoid also coming from the water, from the carboxylic acid. So for easy understanding, that is what you should follow. So if we have a reaction of uh, methane plus butanoic acid, what would be the product? Well, as you can see, the product will be uh, methyl butanoid. This would be the product, of course, plus water there. Okay, so the opposite of this is what is known as hydrolysis. Okay, I thought I should mention that before ending this video. So as usual, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also uh, leave a comment in the comment section. This actually, by leaving a comment, you are giving me feedback. Okay, whether this is helping you or it's doing absolutely nothing. And also share the video if you find the video interesting, share it and also uh, hit the like button. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.